I've been super excited for this printer to arrive. Can't wait to start printing again. I also ordered some Bamboo Lab filament, so we'll be testing that out, doing some multicolor prints with the AMS. We got the printer out of the box. Let's see what else is in here. A lot of packaging. I love Bamboo Labs packaging. All right. All right, support for PLA filament. Got some nice orange PLA, I'm presuming. Yep. And Another green PLA. Sweet. Here's a look in the accessory box. We got the LCD screen right here, and a glue stick for the build plate. This one is actually smaller than the one you get with the P1P. Cable for the AMS. Spool holder. That's your power supply. Safety. Under. The LCD screen, we have, looks like some lubricant grease, some other accessories, some screws, not sure, we'll see. There's one Allen key, and another one, and a nozzle cleaner right here. Oh, what's in here? extra hot end right here always great and some in for more information to take out the AMS we simply remove these two screws now we can lift AMS out of the printer. Time to remove a few more screws. Now I'll remove three more screws holding the bed in place. Now I'm going to install the LCD screen. Now I'll go ahead and plug the AMS in. Inside the AMS, there is also some extra PTFE tubes. Alright, now I'm just going to take off some of the plastic wrap on the AMS. Inside the AMS, Make sure you take the desk in packs out of their packaging. Once you remove the packs, reinstall the case and close the door. Right. Now, let's turn on the printer. We 
we then go through the process of setting up the printer. We'll just skip over that part real quick. Now that we've logged in, the printer is going to do its self-test. Let's check it out. The printer is doing its vibration test, so it'll begin to make to shake and make some frequency noises. This is all normal. I'm going to open up the green filament provided and load this into the AMS. All right, I'm just going to pop the spool in right here and feed it in. All right. Looks like the filaments need Alright. Looks like the filament is now loaded. And you can close the door. You can close these little tabs. Keep all the air inside. And why don't we print a benchy? Alright, now the printer is purging some filament. Now it'll cool down and it'll self clean its nozzle. I printed a poop shoot right here to catch all the scraps the printer is auto calibrating its Z offset and now it will begin a complete bed leveling. Now the printer has completed bed leveling and is now starting to print. print just finished. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Let's take it under the light. Some minor layer lines there. Slight color change from the shiny to more of a matte finish. This was on the highest speed. Hopefully, it's not the biggest problem. Otherwise, it looks very good. The overhangs are pretty darn good. If you guys enjoyed the unboxing, I will be posting a review shortly. So stay tuned for that.